I'm probably doing way too much talking, but you guys just made me feel at home, so hopefully it's not like Mexico sitting down. <laughs> All right, you want to hear the Teleco Carolyn story? Yes. 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 Right. yes. So Teleco Carolyn was was blind, and he was born, I think, in the 16th century, or no, not that early, no, 18th century, I guess, yeah. And no, 17th century. He was a contemporary. Bach, right? yeah, was, no, Bach, was, Bach was 17th Bach was 1500, 16th. Oh, so it was six. I was right the first Bach time. Bach was 1685 to 1750. Okay, that's what I thought. So 17th century. Okay, because he lived around the same time. I'm inspired now. All right, okay. Now you and I are friends. Okay. So, but but he wasn't Bach. He was just an obscure guy in Ireland who was born blind. And in those days, the career options were very limited if you were born in outside. So one of the things you could do is be a musician. So he apprenticed to a woman named Mary. They called her Blind Mary. She was a harpist. And she taught him traditional tunes. And he went out for his first gig, right, in his teens or something, you know, so his first show. And he's going and he's playing at some occasion. And he's playing all the traditional tunes. And at the end of the night, the guy takes him aside and says, listen, lad, I'm sorry, but I just don't think you've got the gift. You're not much good at these traditional tunes. You really just don't have a feel for it. But, you know, maybe you could write something. I don't know. And he's just yeah. crestful. He's, you know, he, it's hard. Can you imagine? He's heartbroken. He's been like working like crazy to learn the harp. And now they're telling him he's no good. So he goes up on a mountaintop and he writes a song, just feeling sorry for himself. And he calls it Shabag and Shamar, which I guess in Gaelic means Big Hill, Little Hill. Um, now, I'm not going to play you that song, but, <laughs> but it's, it's a waltz, and it became one of the most famous waltzes in, in Irish music. Wow. And he went on to become a composer for the Irish harp, who, I mean, there's, there's never been anybody equal to him. And, and he corresponded with, with, with Bach, apparently, so they, they actually cool. were aware of each other. Um, but this one that I'm going to play, actually it was recorded by a, a guy from Maryland named Zan McLeod. Anybody ever heard of him? Celtic musician. Nice guy. Um, so this this arrangement's mostly stolen from him. Um, and if you see him, tell him thanks. Uh, <laughs> now I think I think I sent him a version of it. Anyway, it's called O'Carolyn's Draft. I like to think it was a good guess. It goes like this. Okay. 